Let us continue our adventure. The answer, as it turned out, was south of the border, Loco Caliente. Posters promoting our protagonist's punch fest against the prevailing persona were plastered around the Colosseum premises, which were packed with patrons. Who would emerge victorious? Challenger or champion? The wages were flying as the stadium seating grew rowdy with drink and dance and song. Defeat Kutaro! Hmm. Yes, of course, he will. And you're sure he'll win? He had better. Make sure our fail safe is in place. Good. Yes, 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 monkey. I have your bananas. Now go! <laughs> <laughs> A festival was underway in the village, and a whole host of decorations hung between the panoply of buildings. General Bull said the Colosseum, but I can't even see down the road because of all these houses. How do we get through? The village also had its fair share of piñatas. Some of them more questionable than others. Houses in the village seem to have sprung up out of sheer necessity, with one domicile unapologetically standing atop another. You think we could move the buildings around? A shame this guy has to play solo.
Kutaro wrestled with one house after the next as he made his way through the village. Endless tangle of houses made for a mind-boggling labyrinth. Which way is the Colosseum? Since I don't know, I vote for up. Hazard scaffolding looked ready to tip over. Hiding in the shadows were intent on taking Kutaro's life. It appeared the village had sent a brave challenger into the fray. Wish him the best and fight! Too bad. He should have just waited for the real hero.
I think maybe the owner might object. To what? Getting the penthouse view? She looks so lonely. Poor thing. She's still glum, huh? After roughly a billion houses, our hero started to wonder if the Colosseum really existed. Look at these balloons! They're covered in spikes! Sofas. Say no to couch wrestling. Kudaro left some of the villagers homeless. You mean the dumb ones who painted a bomb on their window? No 
festival would be complete without a giant piñata. This ultimate party favor was packed with candies and toys and drew stick-wielding tykes like flies to honey. They can't reach! Do something! Children just love it when a piñata breaks. The children's joyful song echoed up to the highest reaches of the sky. Kutaro had carried a tune, but this was the first tune that carried him. Up and up he went. As he reached the top of the buildings, he was greeted by a brilliant display of fireworks. Oh, nice! Can we stop and watch? I love fireworks. Oh, they're so pretty and a little romantic. <laughs> It's a time for today's main event. This one's going to be a slobber knocker between the reigning champion, General Bull, and newcomer, Kuta! We can ride the rocket right into the Corner, you know the champ. You will love good goddess almighty. A brutal ambush. Business is about to pick up. Wham! Kutro is sucking air. <laughs> Fight! And the match of the century is on. Kutro might be going for an aerial assault. Back on his hooves! Look out! It's the tornado! When he turns red, he's getting ready for a charge! <laughs> oh no! Dos! Oh! A 2.9 count! The chat clings to life like plastic wrap! He's done! He's over! Let's be Finza!
You'll never. Champion! Champion! <laughs> horse had trampled Kutaro's pride, but now all that was forgotten. His honor restored. <laughs> Good news, sire! Kutaro's force has grown strong. Strong enough to defeat a whole mountain of bull! Kutaro's. What? Have you caught a cold? Speak in full voice! Never fear! We are still one move ahead in the game of evil! Kutaro's doom is assured, Moonbear King! <laughs> <laughs> yes, a tidal wave of cheering washed over Kutaro, and so deafening was the roar that he failed to hear the crack as Monkey hatched a plan. With the help of Calibrus, Kutaro defeated the menace and saved the souls of a lucky few. Well done, Kutaro! The souls he freed were homeward bound.